uh, I'm gonna get injections in my face. Right, we just got back to the lodge and we're fixing everything that's broken. There we go, you can see the Christmas lights on the trees outside. I do love a Volavon at Christmas, although they're a bit tiny. Yeah, but you're a champ, you'll just stick Primula in it. Welcome guys to a new vlog. I look like a drug addict because I'm going for my eyes filled this morning. So it is wild outside. Literally, things are clanking and banging all over the place. I've just been and moved some of the planters outside because they're rolling coming. around. There's a storm coming. As we explained in the last vlog, it's <laughs> mid-storm. So we're actually going to go in Parker today rather than James because James is a bit of a small car and he'll get blown all over the motorway. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. 7 a.m. We're up at 6. I'm we have knackered. to. Shit up you. We have to go to um, Leeds Way to the clinic. Uh, I'm gonna get injections in my face, there and there, up to my eyes and then fill the bags, hopefully, and he's gonna get his back shaved. Well, lasered. Yeah. Nice vlogmas. Yeah, very Christmassy. <laughs> it's one of those days, mornings, where I just can't wake up and eat a coffee. I feel like I'm still asleep. <laughs> Me too. But you're the light still asleep, you know? Eight o'clock in the morning, we've been driving for an hour now. We've still got another 30 odd minutes to go. You don't look too bad, to be fair, this morning with your bag. Yeah, but the light's not shining down. It's shining forward, so it, the, the old, it's not a bag. It's, it's the casting of the shadow, and that's what the fillers for to fill up the gap. So the more we head over here, the closer we get to snow. My mum and sister have texted with photos of it's white over back home. And we've looked at the apartment, that's white as well, yeah, isn't it? We've got a camera in the apartment that looks out the window, and that's white as well. Uh, so we're missing some snow soon. Um, so I'm um, not sure what we're doing after this. We might go to see Nick's mum. Um, hopefully she's got some bacon in. I'm sure she'll have some for a bacon butter or something like that. We've definitely got some snow now. It's not too bad at the moment though. Just uh, a dusting on the. We've on seen a lot of cars with loads yeah. on now, so just the we go, the worse it gets. Yeah. A lot on roof down here. I want it a lodge. Right, we're here. Do you want to have a full face look up you, at you with bags? Hopefully. There won't be anyone to come and out. Then, um, it's never going to be perfect, though. It doesn't work like that. Well, the di when the, the guy was looking at Nick, he says he's got like a deformity on it. Like a... I forgot what he called it, but it's some, some kind of deformity in Nick's eye bags, which caused them to be like that. I have no idea what he yeah, said. Yeah, he did. So, um, hopefully this corrects it for a while. We're, right. We're a quarter of an hour early. They're in? Come on! Right, a couple of hours later and we are all done. I've had a mole removed from my shoulder, which I've had for years and hated. It took like a minute, if that. He injected me with local anaesthetic and then um, fired plasma at it. And it just got rid of it within like a minute. It's amazing how long I've had that. Probably about 10 years on my shoulder and hated it. And it was gone within a minute. Um, then he charged 50 quid for that, which I thought was a bargain. Um, and then he's lasered all my back. Um, I've got to have multiple sessions, but not until January now. Um, and that was £100 for the session of the back. Um, and it did the test area the last time I went, and I could tell it didn't grow back anywhere near as Well, I shaved it yesterday, and they, there was a square patch where they'd done the original yeah. test. So, all in all, not too bad, I thought that. Um, <laughs> Nick, I can't really show you Nick because he's driving, but Nick's been done as I've well. Had more filler than my brother has. <laughs> It's had to um, filled here, filled the cheekbones, filled my nose at the side. I only went for like my eyes doing there. But she did what she's what I presume she's done what she thought was best to like hide the bag. Yeah, I so. mean she said it's she didn't want to do too much. So I have got to go back and have have like a top up. You more don't want to end up looking like Madonna. No. But um this the dark skin in the crease is literally from years of the fold. She said they might be able to laser it or even put something on it or something like that. So I've got to go back the day before the Christmas party just for her to review it because it's got it's all bruised at the minute and it's all numb and sewer. But very strange sensation listening to the bubbling, squirting, fine noises of the gel inside your face. So I'll show you a proper update on Nick when we're not driving. It's, it's, right now it's not as effective as the eye cream because the eye cream is like literally from nothing yeah, to the like, on. Yeah, the, the, the eye cream that it uses is so tight, it like gets rid yeah. of the bag completely. But she didn't want to do too much because she said that the, the skin under my eyes was thin. Uh, so Well, that's that's a problem with eye bags, isn't it? That's I know. The, 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 um, thin skin. When she went down to the bone, because I could literally feel the needle hitting the bone. She says, can you feel anything? And I said, not hurting, it's just weird. That would not be my cup of tea. I did have a needle for a little class, but it was fine. I had about 
15 injections. So we're on our way to Nick's mum's for a cuppa. Just show you the, the uh, state of the weather at the moment. It's not that bad, obviously it's been rain, uh, snowing here overnight, but nothing at the moment. The storm is yet to come this afternoon, apparently. Proper heavy snow here, they've had. No kidding, that's why, not that blue I've not gone out. It's just yeah. the snow. We've had none at the lodge. Not a flake. Hopefully we won't have any. You might work well. If it heavy, if it heavy snows at the lodge, we might not get back there. Right, we've been to see my mum. I would have vlogged, but she spent most of the time screaming about a kettle and the coffee machine not working properly and saying it's absolutely rubbish over and over and over and she must have cooked about 20 pieces of toast trying to demonstrate that it wasn't working. So in the end, we basically got sick of listening to the pair of them screaming at each other, so we left, didn't we? Where we Lee left? says, that's what you're like. That's what I live with it. You get stressed, sat there listening to them like scream at each other and that's what they do. Anyway, we're on our way back to the lodge. Yeah. I was going to go see people, but um, everybody's out. Uh, called my sister and she's, she's heading out. So Are you mum and dad out? They're only like the, uh, five uh, miles from your mum and dad. They're all out, so um, huh? let's Charmed. go back to the lodge and so, um, see what it's like. Um, this is what my eyes look like now. So there's still more filler needed. On this one here, I can feel the filler under the skin and it's lifted it up a little bit. This one is not as much, um, but when I go back in December, before our Christmas party, they're going to do some top-ups on it. So I know which areas I want topping up, but there's a lot of like lumpy needle holes at the minute. So I just want all that to settle and then I can truly see in my own mirror what it's going to look like. But I wasn't expecting it to look fantastic like you see on videos on YouTube, like 20 minutes after you walk out. But I did look at a before and after picture that she took and there was a difference, but still not totally happy with it. But it's only the first session. So when I go back, we'll see what happens. Right, back to the, back, back to the lodge. Christmas time, I light up a fire, gather friends and family, have a bite to eat and some Christmas sweets, chilling out and watch TV, wrapping up the gifts with my fingertips, making up some fancy rhymes. Right, we've decided to call off to Garden Centre on the way back to the lodge. It's uh, Victoria Garden Centre in, where are we? No, near near Featherstone. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to pop in there, have a look at their Christmas decorations. It's been years and years, years since we've been here. Been here years. And then we're going to get back on the motorway, head back to the lodge before Storm Arwin turns up and basically obliterates Wrecks the lodge everything. park. Yes. Purchases from the garden centre. So Sicilian cannoli, white chocolate. Oh, you didn't say cannelloni. I was waiting for you to say it. Gingerbread men, um, decorate your own. This is for the um, Christmas Eve box that we got for the kids. Yeah. So let me have a quick look in here. So, oh, they're small. Yeah. So pre-made gingerbread. And then you get men. two icing pens so you yeah. can decorate them with scarves yeah. and, and things. And then what's this sauce you picked up? And then I got some just for the cupboard, some uh, basil and pesto dressing. I was like a bit of something on a salad. Are you sure you want to get out here? Not really. It's wild wind. We've come shopping. Well, we're back over at the lodge. And there's some lunch. We're going to get some... Um... How's your eyes? Well, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just falling it. asleep. But they, they look all right, actually, in this light. This here, I can see like a wrinkle now where she's filled that. I just need to let the swelling go down and it's it's hurting a little bit on my face where the needles have gone in. No. But um, we'll find out what happens that night when I top it up. Gotta do it, Emma, when it's vlogmas. Oh yeah, definitely. Mince pie. Try the mince pies wherever we go. Is it a nice one? I think it's got like the sponge on top or something mm -hmm. like that. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. the sponge inside mm -hmm. the pastry top. Very nice. Just waiting for a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Just waiting for a sandwich. And then we've got some bits and bats to get for this Christmas Eve box, haven't we? Mm -hmm. We've got to talk fast because the music's playing. There's my chicken soup, my cheese sandwich. Lee's got 
sandwich and crisps and then he's also got another package of crisps because he's a greedy bleeder. Right, we just got back to the lodge and we're fixing everything that's broken uh, because of the wind so that's flying all over the place. The top's come off, the balls are there. Um, I've just checked in on all of our friends' lodges who are here and tidied up their deckings for them. That's the state of the decking at the moment. Nick is trying to fix some of these lights as they're all flying off. Uh, so uh, then we're going to get batten down in the lodge, get it all nice and cosy and uh, maybe have a nap. This is harder than what it looks. Harder than what you thought it were going to? Yeah, I don't know whether they're supposed to be a bit deeper, but it said to use a, um, a peeler just to get it off without the pith behind it. Uh, it smells very orangey, I must say. And you're doing? Making? I'm making candied orange peel so I can use it in my gingerbread and ginger and orange slow cooker cake, which is a revision on the one that I made earlier in Vlogmas, but I've actually got the right ingredients this time. So what's the, what do you gotta do with this? Um, you've gotta basically boil it in a sugared water and then let it dry and then dip it in sugar. And do we get, do we get to eat the, over, uh, the orange then? Uh, no, because the juice is actually gonna go in the orange cake as well. Okay. Right, so. Right, I've put quite a bit of sugar in there. And we've gotta put some salt in. And this is just water in a pan. Apparently salt's one of the most important ingredients because it helps soften it or something. Mm. Now the recipe I'm following doesn't actually tell you how much to put in, but it basically just says boil it. And as soon as it boils, then simmer it for 20 minutes. And then um, once that's happened, we'll come back. Right, so it's been boiling for about 20 minutes. I've drained all the water off and I've put some sugar in this dish and literally I'm just gonna pour these in here now. Put the lid on the tub, give them a good shake until they're completely covered. Moment. And then you just let them dry and then you can either eat them or you can use them in your cooking. And I'm gonna use them in the gingerbread cake, which I'm actually gonna to make tonight. I'm not gonna show everybody the recipe again, so we've made it once. Let's but, have a look um, at them now, let's have a look. And then, there we go. Candied peel, you wanna try a bit? No, not if it's not dry. Very zesty. Well, it's obviously just gonna be the same when it goes in your mouth. Oh my God. Not nah, what? Very, very orangey. <laughs> What's gonna be in mm. It's orange peel. Mm. Wow, they're quite nice actually. But cracky, they're strong. Try Oh, nice. That is really nice. Mmm. <coughs> Very zesty. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a, it's like a sweet. It is. That well, when you dry them, you can literally eat these. Here I am with my spatula. Just listen to a bit of um, Downton Abbey at Christmas, which is a really good Christmas album, actually, if you listen to it. If you don't, don't burn that. It's not burning. If it burns, it's on too high. Well, it is on too high. So. This time we've got some black treacle, and which this we time, didn't have last time. This time I'm actually reading the recipe myself rather than letting yeah, me do it. So I've put extra butter in so it's going to be more moist. Oh, we forgot last time with the butter, but it was still fine. It was quite moist actually, and moist. I put extra sugar and extra butter in, and lots. I put lots more ginger as well. It was very moist. And the orange peel is going to go in this one as well. Let me um, just put the lid back on that. Sorry. Right. We've got the black treacle in there. Everything's in there, very sloppy. I'm going to put in the, um, it's almost pureed candied peel now. And the... Wait a minute, I want to just try a bit. It's very what, gingery. What's, what's it end on there? Nothing. That's fine then. Let me try. Very gingery. Oh my goodness. Looks like bomb pie toffee. Oh, it better not be. So I'm mixing the orange. You can actually put more in. But it's the first time I've done this, so I don't want to overpower it. I still want it to taste like ginger. Yeah, over here, this low cooker's ready. If you want to know what, like, the main bit of this recipe is, check out the previous video where Nick did it. Yeah. Love this spatula. It completely gets everything out of the, the pan. Right, and I think that goes on for two hours. And um, the lodge is going to smell like gingerbread and Christmas cake and cinnamon and spices and all things nice. This is what I got earlier in Tesco, what we're gonna do tomorrow. Um, mince pies. So I got this just roll, 
Ready Roll Short Crust Pastry Sheet. Must be lazy. And um, Tesco's finest Ruby Port Mince Meat. So there we go, that's tomorrow, which will be in this vlog. So we're just watching um, A Boy Called Christmas, which has just come out on Sky Cinema, was it? Let me just pause it. Lee's actually cooked. Well, he yeah, he's warmed some up. Warmed the pizza up. No, if you did it, and he's made a salad. We basically got it out of the bag and bought it on a plate. And then today we bought um, basil and pesto dressing. And I'm just gonna have a quick check on this because we're about an hour in so far. Let's have a quick goosey. Ooh, it's not rising. It's gonna be in 25 minutes. I know, but it's not rising as much as the, it should do. Maybe it's because I put too much butter and treacle in it. A bit of balsamic glaze on your, on your No, mind. thank you, I've put the pesto dressing. Right, let's scoff this and watch the rest of this film. I wasn't warm to it at first, and I've kind of realised what's happening. I'd rather watch Downton. He's called Nicholas, he's heading to the North Pole, he's got a Santa hat on and he's just met a reindeer. Work it out for yourselves. A couple of hours later, two hours, 15 minutes actually, I'm just testing the mixture, make sure it's cooked, and it is. Let's turn that off. So, while it's still hot and sizzling, and intact, ooh, it's actually burnt a little bit because I've had to leave it in a little bit longer. Ooh, and I can't get it out. Help. Oh, shit. Ooh. Back in a minute. No, I want to see how you get it out. I need your help. <laughs> I need your help. It's gonna um, burn, it's gonna burn, it's gonna burn. I'll it off. <laughs> I need your help. I'm, well, I don't know how Where the hell am I gonna get that out? Wait a minute. For freak's sake. Right, come on, come on, come This is because you didn't help me, you went to change bloody battery. Now it's torn in half. Mm. Freak's sakes. You know, it's the only thing you do is cook. I should have a goodie kitchen maid. I should call you Daisy. Right, I've got it out. Now I'm going to get it right way up. But while it's that way off, I'm going to get the paper off. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's hot. Very, very hot. Smells nice, at least. Smells amazing, actually. This is a sorry looking affair. Why? Because you've made it collapse. Mm. I need a little bit more water in this item. It's a bit, a bit too thick. Is it cooled off? No. Oh. We aren't supposed to wait until it cools. Well, yeah, but I'm impatient and I want to get a slice as soon as possible. I can drizzle it now, like it's supposed to be. It must be because you put the butter in. The last one was perfect it's not. without I think the it, butter. I think it's the orange. <laughs> the orange. I think it's the orange, and I also put um, extra. Oh, so this has got the orange peel in, yeah. So yeah. this should taste different. And it's got, um, it's got the. Um, extra treacle in as well, which I suspect why, and I used small eggs rather than large. Oh dear. So that's probably the reason why it's not risen as much. What a fail. Good morning guys, it's snowing! Lee, it's snowing! There we go, you can see the Christmas lights on the trees outside, you can see the snowfall, it is very light at the minute, it has actually snowed in the night, let me show you through here. So um, as soon as Lee's edited the first part of this video, we're going to get dressed and go out in the snow. Wouldn't be vlogmas. Get some breakfast, mate, then. I would show myself on camera, but, um, oh, there's Lee. He's finally up. I would show myself on camera, but I'm actually start bollock naked. Apart from a pair of box shorts. So that is the state of our patio. We actually did push all that forward because we knew there was a storm coming, so we didn't want it to rattle around. And um, the lodge has protected the um, deck in there from the snow. I wonder why the white feet are. But, uh, well, you'll never find them in this, will you? Bet they don't look white, though. Look at that. With anything, I want to get out. There is actually another snowstorm due at about 8.40, really heavy. And then, usually, typically on the east coast, um, it melts by dinner time. So, we have to be out and out in it quickly. And there's been no snow at home at all, apparently. And there's a nice Christmas tree. Nice and snug and warm, the radiators are on. While you're editing, I'm going back to bed. It's snowing quite fast again. Oh, there's quite a lot of blue sky. So uh, I can't see this lasting unless there's more uh, clouds coming, but it does look nice. Right, the snow has stopped. The sky is blue. There is some more due this afternoon, it does say on the weather. So we're just going to have a little moot around now, putting all the things back to uh, as they were. 
before the storm. I lost a chain. Lost a chain? A chain, a bolt that, that hangs onto that to weigh it down. Um, I don't know. Oh, oh there, there. There? Oh. Very Christmassy out here. Looks like it's going to snow again. Yeah. Very Christmassy. Look at the clouds there. Half blue sky, half cloud. Oh, yeah. So, so it is. More snow yeah. from one o'clock onwards. Yeah. I hope it snows us in. What's it look like we're going into? No idea. What did you just say? Go on, you say it every year. I didn't say you said it. <laughs> Narnia. Yeah, you'd always been in bloody wardrobe, you. Closet, I mean. I came out of the closet a long time ago. I want to get back in. Way to the market. Never even knew that this garden centre had this indoor bit. Grass, in, cra grass growing indoors. Yeah. It's almost as bad as a uh, grass growing on a cruise ship, isn't it? Yeah. Christmas stockings. Christmas beers. Now you're talking. Yeah. I wonder where we're coming. Eight quid for a gift set. Mm. What's those? Fruity biscottis. Fruity biscottis. Yeah. Mm. I thought that were past, but it's just straw. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Christmas puddings. Christmas puddings, yeah. And um, lots of different pickles. Ooh, I'm going to get some here, definitely. Nick's just having a quick try of some uh, chutney. Mm. Nice. nice. A little bit of warmth to it, isn't yep. it? Yep. Just from the, from the KM. Oh, you that? can feel that afterwards. Oh my god. Yeah, you can. Yeah, just a, <laughs> a bit, bit of a kick. Yeah. <laughs> Still nice. Yeah. Orange juice, orange zest. Another tester. Part, this one. Not as keen on that one. No. no. That one's more like marmalade, I think. Yeah, right, Nick's got a bag full. A right bag full. So we've got some things for the Christmas Eve box some and some chutneys. Some chutneys, yeah. some pickles, yeah. all to go with cheese. We need lots of cheese now. Yeah, I want some food now, I'm hungry. Should we should we just put the artificial tree away and get that one? It's the same same height. Let me see if they smell. I mean Christmas trees never smell. Like they used to do when I was a kid. I mean, as a kid, we only ever had one tree, and I think all the needles dropped off, and then ever since then we had fake. I think they make them nowadays, don't they, that the, the needles don't drop. Look what it says there. Our soft, bright green needles will not drop from the trees. Yeah, but they've got to smell like trees. And then a uh, load of reeds. Oh, I like that when they do like a, a display with the door, and then they put cinnamon sticks on the, um, the reeds. I thought the reeds are not really, I think they're fakes, aren't they? I think so. No, I think so. Are they? Really? Lee's looking for breakfasts, I'm looking for scents. Right, can you hold the camera while I just sniff these, please? Sniff all you like, you're not getting any. Yes, I've just seen a um, 
Where is it? Oh, it's over there. On the back of there, it says Gardener's Breakfast for 4 95 Rhubarb and ginger. It actually smells like rhubarb and ginger gin. Uh -huh. You not fancy this Gardener's Breakfast? No. Ooh, cranberry spice, but that's nice. No. Home for Christmas. Oh no, that's Try that one. what you put in your toilet tank. Home for Christmas. Oh no. No? No. Mm. Very particular, aren't you? That stinks. What about the Christmas tree one? Uh, you, they usually can't go wrong with the Christmas tree smell. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I do love a volavant at Christmas, although they're a bit tiny. Yeah, but you're a chap, you just stick primula in it. My mum makes amazing volavants with Mush like... Um, mushroom, creamy mushroom. Creamy mushroom and like um, prawns with like... Seafood corn, sauce. Seafood Thousand corn. Island dressing. Yeah. Right, we're just um, browsing through the food section now. It's just so tempting to buy everything that you see. I think we're going to go in that cafe because I, I am a bit picky. You, you still keep going on about this sodding breakfast, don't you? Oh my god, a hot chocolate making kit with Baileys, chocolate, white chocolate, marshmallows. Look at that, I love stuff like that. Your nuts, hickory smoke, seasoned almonds and cashews and baked truffle nuts. How much? Eh, $17.99? Is it? No, $12.75. I could easily eat that in one go. Ooh. No, I'm not a fan of truffles. Truffles always kind of puts me off because they're always truffles. like soft chocolate, but these look amazing. Like little Christmas puddings and little Yule logs look with powdered things. powdered sugar on. They've got swans in them. Yeah, anything Wind with wheels. fruit in chocolate makes me want to get. What are them? I don't even know how to say that. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. They look like marshmallow cake. Butter you know the marshmallows? Bread, raspberry ganache and dark chocolate. Mmm. I like the look of those. What is this? What is this? Cheese scone. Oh, cheese to, scone. We decided to go for non-fruit and just get something savoury. Yeah, I like cheese scones. So we're going to share this and we're also getting a um, fish finger butty. Fish finger butty. Oh, there's not much left for that side. Oh, that's fine. I'll let you off. I'll let you off. I'll let you off. You can't freaking take you anywhere. It's a faulty So as well as actually ripping the bag and dropping all the jars on the, on the stone floor, luckily they didn't break. He's managed to flood the table. And um, that's going cold. Stop the lean moaning. There you go. Half of that's yours. That's it. Get that bloody hat on. Right, we're back in the car. Um, the weather forecast says we've still got more snow. I do have my hat on, actually. The weather forecast does say we do have more snow at three. We've got ten minutes to get back. We've got to get some petrol. And it's about half an hour to 45 minutes. You stink of garlic. To what? get back to the lodge. I've only eaten what you've eaten, so you must do as well. Well, gets back. <clears throat> Right, we've just called off for petrol. Lee's moaning like mad that he's had to do it, and he's got cold! So no doubt this scene won't make it in the lock because they'll edit it out. Um, so, I was going to say something, and he's thrown me off now from doing that. We, uh, oh yeah, so we're going to actually call um, at a Tesco and go to the sugar craft aisle and try and get some, because we said on the vlog we're going to make these mince pies differently this year. We're going to make, the pastry's redone, it's just rolled, and we've got some nice Tesco finest mince meat, and instead of putting a pastry top on it, I'm actually going to fill it with icing, like iced mince pies, and then once it's set, I want to try and get some little sugar craft, little coloured um, Christmas holly things that you like a holly leaf and berries made out of like icing that you can put on the uh, the mince pies. So that's going to be the next job. No doubt Leo moan about that as well. Here he comes. Bet I can get him to moan within first second of getting in the car. And I bet he calls me a lazy sod for not doing it. And yet when I drive high, I have to fill the petrol up. Here he comes, storming. Look at the swinging arms. Take your time, why don't you? I said, take your time. Right, can we go now? We can. Okay, so he didn't moan. But he did moan after I turned the camera off about having to go to Tesco. His exact words were, can't you do it without um, holly leaves? Well, you could do it without holly leaves. I could do, but I'm not I'm not going to do I want it to look festive and I want it to look good. I tell you before, the, the, well, the first thing about any kind of food is the first bite is with your mind, not with your lips. Don't you agree? I just always take all condiments, all, all, what do you call them, like... Um, You're not going to eat the icing then? Garnishes off. Yeah, but it's oh, not garnish, it's yet. icing. Yeah, I understand that, yeah. Hopefully it's... they've got it. If not, maybe they've got maybe like a Christmas star or something like that. Or something other festive, I don't know, I can't think. We'll find out when we get there. Right, we're back in the lodge. I'm going to put these tree lights on. What? The globe? Okay, Who cares? Right, they're on. There we go. Right, are we having a couple of... Uh, an hour or so chilling before we met these mince pies. Oh, we are. So I did actually get some things from Tesco to, for the mince pies. Um, I got two packs of these, which were I think were one pound fifty each. I quite like them. And then, 
And then when I was outside in the car park, there was a holly bush with berries on, so I took a little sprig, or a, a cutting, or as my gran used to call it. Um, so I'm just going to use that just to garnish the plate. I'm ready. Don't you look a tit. I'm ready. Yeah, but I'm doing it, so... You did it last year. You did the mince pies last time we were here, and you screwed them up. I'm having a go this time. Do you want to watch the Vlogmas about two years ago when you did the mince pies and literally it boiled over because you overfilled them? You know that um, story of this guy called Scrooge? The three yeah. ghosts go and teach him to be nicer. Yeah. Learn from it. Shut up, Mrs. Hinch. Now get these. What? Get them bloody drawers tidied out that you keep going on about. What we, what we... Right, it's ready roll, but it's not thin enough because the pastry will swell, so I'm just gonna. That's not two layers. No, no, I'm just looking. So, we do have a bulb out as well, that's why it's dim. So this is just roll. Ready rolled short crust pastry sheet. Yeah, right. this, this is not an ad. <laughs> Crack on. Right, can you hold the camera? There we go. Mince pie's done. Not quite how I had turned out. <laughs> it looks like girls have made them. I don't know, it does. <laughs> I can't make it all. These are like the, the, the deformed ones, so we're just gonna have to have these now. Yeah, I'm making a cup so, of tea. Here we go, I'm gonna try it. You should have left it long enough to like, look a bit mushy. Mm. Nice, nice. Mm. Should we have a bit of clot cream with them? Why? So, a uh, bit of Tesco clotted cream, it's not Rodder's. It's just Tesco. Tesco don't sell Robert. No, they don't, reason. no. Ooh. Right, cup of tea. Mince pie, clotted cream, Earl Grey tea, and a Downton Abbey. Right, we're mid-watch party. Christmas Chronicles tonight. Mrs. Hinge, she's just in the kitchen, cleaning again. She's just done the drawers. I love it when Lee watches videos of um, cleaning videos, because so far he's actually scrubbed half the lodge. You just need to get that cooker done now, so it's filthy. I'm not touching the cooker, that's your... That's Mrs. Your... Hinge wouldn't leave a cooker like that's that. Your... I haven't watched them, Mrs. Hinge. You've joined the Facebook group because she's so, been giving you all these tips on Zaflora. So, yes, I did join a Mrs. Hinge Facebook Yes, group. right then, Mrs. Hinge. But um, I don't even know who she is. I think she's an Instagram. Like, she's a cleaning so, freak. Well, I know she is, but so I'm are you now. She's just on Instagram, I think. Whatever. I've got to be freaking clean all you. the bleeding time because well, of you. Mrs. Hinge wouldn't leave that stain, that red wine well, stain. Stop freaking. Right, so this is what we got when we were at the uh, Christmas fair today. We got these little chocolate. Um, dipstick things which you basically put in hot milk and make a hot chocolate. So we've got them for the kids when, they, when we do the fake Christmas. We've got the Santa key which Lee found when he tidied the drawer out. And then we've got these pickles which we're going to have at Christmas with cheese. So we've got Christmas chutney, apple and pear. Apologies the camera won't focus. Uh, sweet chilli jam. What is it being that camera not focusing? Can't do two things at once. And a spiced apple chutney. All, we, actually, we actually got to try all them as you saw on the vlog. So can't wait to try them with um, cheese, crackers, um, and just maybe nice hot chocolate with whipped cream. Don't know. I right. wonder what it'll be this time. Nine and ten. I wonder what it'll be. Well, you won't be having any, so it doesn't matter. Cheese crackers or chutney? I am guessing. Two more crackers. Yeah. Uh, that was ten. Was nine. Nine is here. Ooh. 
definitely a chutney. Ooh, I can't even get. I ate, I ate last of your last one tonight with some cheese on crackers. Oh, we need some more cheese. I can't get it open. Oh, it's a chutney. Oh, what a surprise! <laughs> that's the only thing with some stuff like this, isn't it? Yeah, but it's Remember when we ones. um when we bought a uh, a candle one? Oh, that's the same one I've had. Onion chutney. No, that's fine. I can't them. Really. I mean, remember when we got that um, candle one? And at first we're like, oh, candle, advent calendar. Then by yeah. day, day three, we're like, oh, three flavors. Another on candle. Days, another six candle. Of each, like, right, hold that. This. My goal. My goal. Right. So I'm opening what? Uh, nine and ten. Right. Assuming we've done the maths correctly. Oh, nine to begin. You said that about the other one, and it was like a little tiny thing. It's massive. Ooh. Oh my goodness! I bought one of these the other day. Just to have in my bag. I like to have them in my bag when I go to America. Just like small ones, because you can take it on, on plane and stuff. Just if you get a bit sweaty. Lovely. So, I, well, I freaking bought one of the day, and now I've got two, that's fine. Um, and number 10. Is there one for me in this yet? Since you're scoffing my cheese. There you go. A lip Oh, thanks. <laughs> they didn't last long. We did actually take, we actually have nipped out and took some to our friend Peter and Elaine. Lee's given um, Elaine our, well, his old Kindle. We took on some of that as well, which has actually turned to almost fudge now. I'm going to go to bed. Lee's just watching and catching up on Lisa's vlog. I'm watching Lisa make tartiflet. Tartiflet. I'm sure it's tartiflet. It's but not. I, I googled it. It's tartiflet. I didn't know you said the, the T at the end. Because I played a pronunciation um, video. Tartiflet. Tartiflet. It's actually spelt tartifletti. Not according to Lisa's style. <laughs> oh, she spelt it wrong. <laughs> Lisa, she spelt it wrong. I'll text her and tell her that. Are you sure? Yes, it's F L E T T E well, at the wrong, end. You're making a giant titty of yourself. Just check it. <laughs> two minutes. I'll check it. Right, two minutes later. It has got an E at the end. It's yeah, but it's not just that. It's no, just an E. Isn't it? It's F L E T T E, I think. Anyway, spelt wrong. Thanks for watching today, guys. Tomorrow or in the next vlog, we'll do some more comments of the day dancing because we've got a few more people have emailed us there through. Yeah. So uh, hit the like button, click the notification bell, or tomorrow, again, the next vlog, whenever it is, we're going to a new like food marketplace. In yeah, Hull. in Hull, um, House Fraser shut down. And um, let me just get on the vlog, two minutes. Yeah. House of Fraser shut down and it became like a street food place. Um, no, I mean, yeah. And one of our viewers, or was it Facebook somewhere? One of our lodgers. Has, has sent us a message saying you're going to go check it out, so we're going to do it tomorrow. So it's a dangerous place to go. So we're going to go and try it out. We like food. Yeah. So uh, that should be fun. That'll be the next vlog. Um, so we'll see you on the next And Eric will be back tomorrow as well. Oh, Look really? at my hair. Maybe he'll be dancing a little bit for comments of the Well, day. I've seen him come out of the bedroom twice today, sulking. He's gone back in and slammed the door again, so... Did he come out for a mince pie? No. I think he sniffed him and then, <laughs> then turned his nose up. Don't forget to cover them up before you go to bed. Get lost. Bye! Bye!